been teaching for about six months, and I went home for Christmas break back to Seattle. And I went to a bunch of different family get-togethers, did all that, came back to North Carolina, and I remember getting off the plane, and I had a notification on Facebook that my mom had tagged me in like 78 photos. And <laughs> all from this time. So the first thought that went through my head was, oh my gosh, I need to get to a computer ASAP, because I don't think the Facebook app was a thing. Um, I need to go to a computer and I need to untag myself as fast as I can. I don't want anybody to see those. And so I got home and I didn't even look at the pictures. I just remember like untag, 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 and it hit me. I had that aha moment that Meg was talking about earlier. I don't want my life to be like this. I don't want to be this insecure where I don't want people to see me. And so it was then that I decided I'm gonna actually do something. I had tried every quick fix in the book like wraps, shakes, pills, HCG drops, like cabbage soup dye, like everything. I wanted to lose weight. It wasn't like I didn't want to, but I wasn't willing to work for it. But this time was different, and I decided I'm going to do it this time. I don't care what it takes. I don't care if it takes me a year. I'm actually going to do it because I'm sick of feeling this way. And so I was in rural, rural, rural? <laughs> Eastern North Carolina, tiny, tiny little town. And there was one gym, and I was like, there's no way I'm going to go to the gym, because everybody in the town knows everybody. I have so much pride. I didn't want people to know that I knew I had a problem. So I went on to Amazon, and I found hip-hop abs. And I was like, you know what? I like dancing. I need to try this out. So I got hip-hop abs. It came, in the it came in the mail, and I started waking up before school every single day, 4 o'clock in the morning, doing hip-hop abs. Now here's the best part. I didn't even know what each one was. I didn't even know that there were beach body programs, and since I got it off Amazon and it was like the cheapest thing on there, it was one hip hop abs workout, and so I repeated the same workout over and over again for over a month. Like I still know it, it's still tucking tight. I'm like I can do it today. Um, but I and when it started to get easy for me, instead of doing it once a day, I did it in the morning, and then I did it again. Oh my God. what to do. I started drinking a gallon of water every single day. I started eating the most boring foods ever because I didn't. I was the girl that thought like Costco muffins and Caesar salads were health food. And so I would eat that. So I started eating more vegetables, eating lean proteins. And in a month, I was down like 12, 15 pounds and I felt amazing. And I decided, you know what, it's time to retire hip hop abs. I had seen all of this stuff about Beachbody. So I went to the Beachbody website and I saw insanity. And I remember back during Christmas, all of my uncles were talking about how hard this program was. I am totally that person. I like to prove people wrong. And so I got in Sandy, just the workout, just the DVDs, you guys, because they're DVDs. Um, it was like $150. No Shakeology, no anything. I was a broke college student, student debt up to here. I just, my family didn't support me moving across the country to teach. So I spent, got into even more debt moving across the country, which is super expensive, but I knew I needed to do it. I knew I needed to invest in my health. And so put it on a credit card, got it in the mail, and the first workout, like I was on top of the world, you guys. I was like, I can do hip hop abs, I'm so good at it. Like, I don't even break a sweat anymore. And Shanti humbled me. <laughs> And I ran a lap, I'm like, oh my gosh, that was easy, I'm just gonna keep going. And then I did a mile. 
life. And so I came home from teaching that summer, and I was just home for the summer, and my family didn't even recognize me. And it was a really amazing feeling, because like I said in the beginning, like I had so much pride. I didn't want people to know that I wanted to lose weight, but when you start making progress and people notice, it feels really good. And that is actually the summer I met my husband. He's in the back right now. Um, and believe it or not, he was my first serious boyfriend. And I truly believe it was because, not that, I don't think it was that guys didn't want to date me, but I didn't love who I was, and so it was hard for me to let somebody else love me. And I truly believe that beach body like, gave me the confidence to feel worthy of that. So I met my husband, and um, I kept the weight off for a year. I ended up moving back to Seattle, and we got married a year later, and still didn't know about coaching at this point, you guys. I just knew I loved beach body, and I love Shanti. Um, I still I still love side, you guys. I do that all the time. And my daughter, my little side note story here, my daughter Gretchen, um, she loves it too, and she has her workout that she does, and it's one of the sides workouts, and she does it every single morning while I'm drinking my energize. And she like can't, she like, she's five. She's like, mm. <laughs> uh, but anyways, I got pregnant with my daughter, and I had a really rough pregnancy. Throwing up multiple times a day to like 22 weeks. The only thing that made me feel like I wasn't going to bark was eating carbs. So I ate carbs all day long. So even despite all of the morning sickness, I gained like 25 pounds my first trimester. Like before I even told people I was pregnant, I gained this um, And by the, by the time I had my daughter, I lost all my good habits. I stopped exercising because doing squats made me nauseous. And I was eating a lot of carbs. And then it just spiraled. Like, I ate chocolate chip pancakes every day for breakfast for five months straight. <laughs> like, it was bad. So I gained about a little over 50 pounds when I was pregnant with my daughter. And this is kind of about the time when coaching came into my life. Um, I was working a marketing and sales job at the time, and I knew after I had my daughter, I did not want to go back to work. At the time, my husband was working an insurance job. And if you guys know anything about insurance, like it takes time to build up your business. And I was like, we can really do this, this is gonna be awesome. And so I quit my job when I had my daughter, and he was just starting out, so things were rough. We went from two full-time incomes, down to one, just bought a house, just had a new baby. Being a first-time mom is really hard. I ended up gaining even more weight, um, and it was just a really, really hard time for us. And financially, it was hard, um, wondering if we were gonna be able to pay our mortgage, really having to budget a lot, was really difficult. And my husband, because he's so wonderful, he, he knew I didn't want to go back to work, so he actually got a second job. And so he started delivering papers at night, and this is what his schedule looked like. He would wake up at like 6.30, 7 in the morning, commute an hour to his job, um, get home probably about 5, go straight to bed, wake up around 11, and he drove how many miles of the night? At least 100 miles delivering papers from 11 to 5 in the morning. Came home, slept an hour, woke up, went back to work. If you know anything about a paper route, it is literally 365 days a year. You do not get holidays off. Like, he was burning the candle from both ends. We never saw him, and it was really hard for me, and it got to the point where I'm like, you know what, if I can't find a way to contribute, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to go back to a job that I hate. I don't want to leave my daughter. I don't want anybody else to raise my daughter. I need to figure out something that I can do. And so I tried a lot of different stuff. <laughs> I tried like uh, uh, consumer research surveys, cleaning up the Google search engine if that's really a thing. I don't know if I got paid. <laughs> and then I saw my coach post on Facebook about a group that she was going to be running on Facebook for a new program coming out called Insanity Max 30. I was like, I love Shanti, I want to do this. Um, and so I saw it. she was making money running these groups, helping people through these programs. And I thought to myself, like, when I was teaching, I literally helped the entire staff. They're like, what are you doing to lose weight? You look so good. I would make meal plans for them. I was helping them. And I was like, you know what? That's something I can do. And that's something I might enjoy. And I told myself in December, once I lose the baby weight, I'm going to sign up to be a coach. That is my biggest regret to this day, you guys. You do not have to get your goal weight to be an amazing coach. This is what inspires people is you showing up daily and being proof the products work, not just having an amazing transformation. And so I really, first I regret not watching those infomercials after hip-hop apps. 
but then not signing up when I first heard about coaching. And so since I knew I wanted to become a coach, I worked so hard. I knew how to lose the weight. I had done it before, and within six months, I had gone back to my pre-pregnancy size. I sent my coach a message on Facebook. She was actually one of my brother's friends in high school. I sent her a message, and I was like, sign me up to be a coach. And she was like, she didn't. She's like, okay, well, there's a $40 fee, like, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, I don't care. Like, I don't care the details. Sign me up, I'm going to figure it out. And so she sent me the link. Um, I wish I could let tell me a little bit more because I didn't know you could get the fee waived and sign the challenge pack, so I paid the $40 and then had to buy other stuff. But I was committed. I knew, I, it's all about your mindset, you guys. Personal development, this business is your mindset. And so I told myself, I don't know how, but I'm gonna get there and I believe in myself. And so I consumed everything. I did everything she told me. She said, successful coaches sign up their husband. I'm like, all right, I'm signing them up right now. He did not have the money to do that. I put it on a credit card. I think he, it took about a year before he even knew he was a coach. <laughs> And I was like, but what if he doesn't come home? 
and it's really scary. So any of you guys who have family in law enforcement or in the military, like it's really hard. And it was at that point where I was like, you know what? Beachbody can give me the opportunity to create whatever life I want. And, yes. and at that point, I was like, I'm gonna go all in. I don't want my husband to be doing this forever. I want him to be home with us. And so, like I said, this business is easy. I took what I was doing, that success club system, and I 10 x it. Instead of inviting 10 people a day, I started inviting 100 people a day. I, got, I worked really hard on getting amazing results and being proof that these products work. And what was the hardest part is I found, I found for my business, and I know it's different for everybody, for me, it took about a year to see the results that I, from the work I was putting in the previous year. So there were times when I was working so hard and I would calculate, how much money am I making per hour? And it was like less than a dollar. It was not a lot. But within one year of hard, consistent work and having that belief that if these other people can do it, I can do it too, and showing up, within one year, I wanted to make you five figures a month. 